Dana Milbank in the Washington Post today, he's saying, uh, Dear Republicans, hire me. I'll give you the debate of your dreams. He says, uh, to avoid unhelpful reactions from the audience, I promise to have no audience. I will pipe in artificial applause of precisely the same pre-agreed length and decibel level for every candidate who ans- and for all the answers. I will submit my questions in advance for pre-approval by the candidates. No questions will be asked about women, racial minorities, or any other issues that might cast the Republican Party in an unfavorable light. There will be no questions about any candidate's past statements or actions, including but not limited to bankruptcies, financial difficulties, missed votes, and inconsistencies. Candidates will not be required to perform math or to provide supporting evidence for claims. Candidates will be seated in Barca loungers. If candidates feel overheated, the moderator will fan them while they answer and provide them with their choice of lemon or cucumber ice water. I will begin each question with the phrase, Mother, may I? And I will address candidates as Your Excellency, Your Eminence, or another honorific approved by the campaigns. Perfect. Perfect. Shano says it sounds like Fox. This is how Fox normally treats conservatives, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Oh, man. So, so here's what President Obama had to say. He was having some fun with the Republicans last night. This is this is uh, President Obama talking about the Republicans who are complaining about the, the 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 you know being asked tough questions by three reporters from from CNBC. Have you noticed that every one of these candidates say, uh, you know, Obama's weak. He, he he's he, you know people. Putin's kicking sand in his face. When I talk to Putin. Uh, he's going to straighten out. <laughs> Just looking at him, I'm going to, he's going to be. And then it turns out they can't handle a bunch of CNBC moderators. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you. If you can't handle If you can't handle those guys You know then I don't think the Chinese and the Russians are going to be too worried about you Really And then and then contrast this I mean, keep in mind that the, the, you've got 14 Republicans whining about tough questions in, from moderators a week after Hillary Clinton endured 11 hours of hostile, angry, confrontational, gotcha grilling and left with a smile. The next morning, she was doing a campaign event. Marco Rubio had to stay up to three o'clock in the morning for a vote about a month or two, maybe, maybe two months ago, a month and a half ago in the United States Senate. It was a 3 a.m. vote. And he was so tired, he canceled a campaign event in Iowa the next day. I'm just too tired. I'm sorry. It's it's bizarre.